Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I'm so excited to say I'm joined by actress Ashley Ofterhide. Hi, Ashley. Hello. Hi, it is so nice to virtually meet you. Thank you for taking time today. Of course, I'm so happy to talk to you. Ashley, I want to give you a major congrats because you are a part of the Netflix family. You have your recent Netflix project, The 90s Show. So major congratulations to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So The 90s Show, for those of you at home who may not know or may know that this is the sequel to the hugely popular That 70s Show. So Ashley, given this is the sequel to The 70s Show, tell us what we could be expecting in The 90s Show for those who love The 70s Show. So definitely something that stuck out to me that I loved in that 70s show was the chemistry between the characters. So that's something that I wanted to bring forward myself, you know, the new gang, the new generation. And so I think it's really cool because each of us have our new authentic characters. Gwen, I find, is different from the characters in that 70s show. And I think the same for everyone else. I mean, there are some similarities because, I mean, people have similarities, but I feel like each of us are our own genuine new character, but then we have that same chemistry that they had in that 70s show. And I think that's really cool. So the story is funny and it's heartwarming just as the 70s show was, but in a new authentic way, which is really cool. Yeah, now speaking of the old cast, new cast, we see a lot of the OG cast come back on this one. So, which I think is so cool because so many of these shows that were so loved when we i was growing up you know they do the sequels but some of the cast may not come back but look at this show you have ashton and mila on set now as real life husband and wife kitty and red are back wilmer and laura are back so these are huge people that you guys have on the 90s show so how was it meshing the old cast with the new cast that we see in the 90s show i mean it's amazing and you already see I mean, I was new, but you can tell that these people are really like family. And I think it was great that the legacy cast was there, especially Deborah Joe and Kurtwood being there all the time because they really took us in with open arms and we're always there for advice and, you know, such great role models. I mean, this was my first real comedy. I'd never been in front of a live audience. You know, it was four cameras and they were always there to guide me every step of the way. And their timing is impeccable, their delivery, and they gave great advice advice and I mean look at them <laughs> I mean there's nothing bad that I could say it was great having them on set truly living legends but Ashley you mentioned you took some advice while working with the these castmates and being on set with them so what is the best piece of advice that you've held on to to this day and you're gonna apply to your career moving forward I think to stay authentic that's something that they really emphasized um, Gwen, actually, when I got the character breakdown, she was a petite powerhouse with pink hair. And I don't have pink hair, and I'm not really petite either. And so they sort of changed the writers, producers, directors. They sort of changed who Gwen was as a character to match my vibe more. And so that advice was really impactful to me because, you know, I got in the role because they changed the character to suit who I am. And so I thought, okay, well, if I stay true to who I am, if I stay authentic, then I guess it has to work out because that's what landed me the role in the first place. And so they said to just have fun, be yourself, take in the experience. And, you know, there's pressure, but make sure that it's good pressure because that's the way that you can really live your character to the fullest and not have a bunch of nerves and all those other negative emotions affect you. Absolutely, that's great advice. Now, looking at your character, speaking of your character, you play Gwen. So tell me about Gwen and tell me about playing her. I love playing Gwen. I mean, first of all, right off the bat, her style is insane. So but funky. <laughs> I know, so funky. I mean, I love the costume fittings that we had. I mean, our, my first costume fitting was three hours and it was so much fun. It was not tiring, surprisingly. Um, but Gwen, she is bold, she's confident, she's a leader. I call her my alter ego. And I think that she's a really good friend to Leia, especially she's protective and also a fun sister with Nate. And I, th I really like her because 
you know, you meet her immediately, you see that she's a riot girl, she's a rebel, but then she also has a lot of layers to her. You see throughout the season that she's vulnerable. And I mean, I really liked playing Gwen because they're just, like I said, so many, she's so multidimensional and funny. And I feel like people can really connect to her. And I loved playing a riot girl and all the music and all of that. It, it was cool being taken to the 90s as a 2004 baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Ashley, I was on TikTok doing a little deep dive search and there are so many fan edits of you, of Gwen, people loving Gwen, and people are also saying, quote, Gwen is the coolest person in Point Place. What do you have to say for that? Oh, I love that. I haven't seen that yet. I mean, I've seen a bunch of the edits and it's so cool because I remember being on set and talking with my castmates and we were saying, you know, are there going to be edits? What's going to happen? And then now I go on TikTok and I see edits of myself on my For You page. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. But it's definitely really cool. I mean, thank you, whoever said that comment. That's really sweet. I think Gwen is pretty cool too. So we agree on that. <laughs> there you go. Now, I actually saw a lot of fan edits before the show even dropped, which is even crazier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw a lot. There are a lot of Gwen and Leia edits. <laughs> Absolutely. together which we sort of expect it would happen too because their friendship is is really cute so so ashley if you could sum up this series giving three words okay how would you describe the 90s show to someone watching this interview at home okay well the two that i always use that i sort of already said before but heartwarming i think you walk away having a warm fuzzy feeling inside which i love and funny. I think the writers did a great job with all the lines and I think each character has their own sense of humor which is cool like Ozzy's very sarcastic and then Nate is sort of like clumsy you know everyone has their own sort of funny so I think heartwarming, funny and cool like it just has a cool vibe to it with the 360s and I think Gwen is very cool as you were saying so yeah, I think those are the three words that I would use, but there are a lot, many others that could explain the show because there's so many levels to it. I love this sequel. I think you guys did such a great job of bringing back that lightheartedness and that, you know, just everything that you loved from the 70s show and you guys just elevated it and are telling a new story while keeping some of the old. So major congratulations to you all. Thank you so much. That means a lot to hear. Absolutely. And last question I need to ask you before you go, but you know, the 70s show brought some marriage luck. As I said, Ashton and Mila got married in real life. So if you could ship anyone in this new cast, you know, for some marriage luck down the future, is there anyone or any two that rings some bells? <laughs> marriage luck in the future? That's a really tricky question that I don't know the answer. Marriage luck in the future. Well, I feel like I would have to say Sam and Max because they're dating in the show. So that's like the most that I could see. I, I don't, I'm not sure. That's a tricky question. I feel like we need to have a few more seasons before we sort of build anything out. I was just gonna say, maybe when we talk in season two, you'll have better better indication <laughs> exactly well, there we go we are such fans of you we are such fans of gwen and the 90s show so again thank you for your time thank you it was great Absolutely. talking to you everyone at home make sure you are catching ashley ofterhide as gwen in netflix's the 90s show which is out now ashley thank you so much thank you so much we'll see you later thank you, you.